Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy, Black OG, or as my YouTube channel says, Black OG Jesus. Um, this is me making a quick video about uh, why feminists are silent and stuff, and they'll be making their return. Right now, since these useless individuals don't have a job or multiple people to suck resources off because they normally do. Uh, bitches are out here tripping. They're doing desperate things just for attention. And it's kind of funny. But what I really wanted to talk about is, um, has anyone noticed how silent feminism is? It will be back soon. Soon as easy times are are up, or sooner as easy times are back, all these women who are submitting all of a sudden, giving their boyfriend uh, more sex all of a sudden, they're going to be right back on the strong and independent bullshit. They're gonna bring, they're gonna bring, uh, hashtag me too, right back. They're gonna be tweeting, hashtag, um, kill all men, hashtag kill white men, which is pretty s screwed up. These bitches wanna kill, <laughs> literally kill the people, or the group of men. Who gave them their rights. AKA the beta males. If it wasn't for these beta males out here. We'd be able to. We'd be able to extract those. A lot of those rights. So quickly. So fast. It ain't even funny man. I mean of course. Women. Deserve. Basic human rights. But uh. Today's modern 2020 woman, she has more rights than a man does. Um, a woman has all the privileges of being a man, but none of the consequences. And that's the problem with our society's females. That's why they all have that princess mentality. That's why they're all stuck up little cunts. Because no one holds them um, accountable, and everyone wants to have sex with them. If it wasn't for the simple fact that these bitches had a wet hole between their legs, uh, these bitches out here would be getting treated even worse than men. Like, men wouldn't even knowledge their existence they wouldn't care about them what they're thinking or feeling or what's going on in their life if it wasn't for that little hole wet hole that females use and abuse until they can't manipulate no man no more because their body count is so high or people just don't guys just don't uh guys have uh, consequence or high value just don't want them anymore so uh, yeah right now things are quiet right now females are silent but guess what despite all the things men are doing and helping people shoot I even saw like a 16 year old boy making a 3d printer he was like making a face mask with a 3d printer for hours a day and you can tell he's beta and you can tell he ain't getting any pussy unfortunately for that guy it's kind of sad <laughs> um 
but yeah, you've got men of all ages out here providing value to society. And meanwhile, what are females doing? Some of them are doing what they should should have been doing since the since the freaking beginning, like uh, taking care of their man, taking care of their kids, um, and giving out more sex. That's what any woman and every woman should be doing if they want to maintain a successful and happy relationship slash marriage. What do I know, right? I'm just twenty, a uh, twenty-two year old kid. <sighs> but uh, yeah. Right now, men are providing value to this to society, but uh, as soon as easy times are back, like I said, here comes the false allegations. Here comes he did, he did this to me. Here comes I want a divorce. Like I said in uh, one of my older, well, not older videos, but it's like a few weeks old. Um, a skyrocket in divorce is about to happen because of the corona. Because couples are going to have to stay inside and deal with each other's bullshit. And women, women don't get to cheat on their beta males. So they don't have a choice but to act like they're in love or act like they want their, their little beta husband that they always normally cheat on when he's gone at work, but he can't, but they can't because <laughs> he's at home 24 seven now. Oh, that's funny. But anyhow, that was my quick video, man. These bitches are going to be switching up real quick. And a lot of my red pillars probably can see this coming. And they probably already know it's coming. And it's definitely going to happen. So uh, just wait for that. The only thing us guys should be worrying about is what are the feminists cooking up right now? Uh, when this whole virus ends um what will women or what excuses or what complaints or what movements or hashtags are women gonna fire up or start up as soon as this me too is over what bullshit are they gonna find to complain about this time because i don't know like i said man a woman's life is so easy uh, sure, you might bleed between your legs once a month for, like, till you're, like, in your 50s or 60s, until you hit menopause, basically, but if you're submissive, nice, kind, gives one man, just one, sex, often all the time, then literally you have your life made for you your life will be taken care for you your life will be funded for you and these females want to complain how hard life is the truth the ultimate truth is that women make everyone's lives harder uh you've got that 80 percent of women that are only chasing all the all the um, top 10 to 20 percent of men so 80 percent of like a fat chunk of women, 80 <laughs> a whole fat percentage of women are basically just ruining it for each other wasting each other's time because uh they're all trying to get that chad that super giga chad or to our room that's making that six-figure salary. And that's why he doesn't have to commit or marry. Because there are way too many of them of these thirsty, gold-digging bitches throwing themselves at that guy. And then when they turn 30, 
and Chad doesn't want want anything to do with them sexually, then they want to complain. They want to say how all, all men are this and that. Meanwhile, they were rejecting nice guys uh, who actually wanted to take him out on dates. Uh, meanwhile, they weren't even looking at the guys in their own age group. And these females are always talking about how older men shouldn't be with younger women. But they're with all these younger women are going after older men that has money. How is that fair? Right? God damn. Another problem with these females is the risk and reward thing. Um, what I'm really trying to say is females wait at the finish line for winners. Like she, she doesn't want to, she doesn't want to have sex. Like a lot of these young females don't want to have sex with that young nerdy guy. But soon as soon all of a sudden, as soon as that young nerdy guy, uh, his value increases while theirs decrease, and uh, he makes like an invention, or starts a business, or uh, or opens like his own little magazine store, comic book magazine, or becomes like a super scientist or mathematician, and. Uh, Basically, those bitches that were, that never acknowledged his existence, unless, like, they did, like, some homework done for them. That was probably all the time they ever acknowledged these nerds' existence. Until they hit 30, 35, then their value is in the shitter, and the nerd that they were using for homework, uh, he's making a five, six seven figure salary he's happy and yeah that's the problem with you females you want to wait at the finish line for a winner instead of uh, starting and building something with someone you females want to go to Chad and Tyrone and get ran through but then you expect the nerdy beta guy who worshipped you when you were younger to still be there when you're 30, 35, 28, 40. It's disgusting. The audacity and the entitlement. Like men really need to step up because we could we could change it like that. <laughs> but the problem is there are way too many beta males. There are way too many beta males that worship and idolize women and will die for them. But they don't realize is those women don't appreciate guys like that. They appreciate assholes. They appreciate uh, men with a backbone. They appreciate guys who aren't scared to hurt their feelings. Or tell them that they need to get in the gym or they need to ride this dick or suck it if they want to stay in a relationship or in a, in my, in your house or apartment or wherever the hell you live. Bus. <laughs> That'd be awesome, man. Living in a bus. I was freaking watching Better Bachelor and uh, I saw that he was living at not living in a bus, but he's basically going to be touring the country, going all around in a bus. I'm like, man, that's freaking awesome. Plus, the way he's got it set up and shit. I'm like, oh shit, this dude is beast moding it. Shout out him to him. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um... It's not really nothing else much to talk about. Not in this video. But, uh, yeah. Those guys have so much bullshit to deal with. And, uh, 
why not just stay single? Why not focus on yourself and become the top 10 to 20 percenter? And women will be blinded, blindly, foolishly chasing you, wasting their time with you, giving their body to you for free or for damn near or for very cheap. Meanwhile, they ignore all the other guys until they turn 30 and they want to talk about how all men are the same when they're waiting at the finish line for a winner or a chatter or a own. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one and I hope you liked it and hopefully you can hear me because a lot of you guys say that uh, my videos are quiet, I'm quiet. But uh, that's mostly because I'm recording on a forty a forty dollar forty dollar uh, smartphone, and it's not the best. Plus, um, I'm quiet. Uh, like I I I I choose to be quiet, like especially if I'm talking about red pill content in my house. Uh, because, you know, family and all, and I've had some big tell, I've had some big tell brothers tell, tell me some of their stories, uh, some young ones, like, um, they discovered the red pill, and then they told their parents about it, and, um, basically, the, the their relationship with their parent, or parents, or single mother is over, <laughs> So yeah, I'm not trying to find myself homeless. I ain't got that much money yet, but it's all good because I'm stacking it up. And plus, I don't really plan on spending money with spending money on the spending, like wasting money that I got that I'm going to be getting from the stimulus check. Uh, a lot of people out here are wasting their money. These same people who are broke every day, these same people who don't even have $500 saved up, they're out there spending their stimulus checks on bullshit. <coughs> and they're going to be singing the exact same tune they were before as soon as all that money is gone. Anyhow. It's your boy, Black OG. If you like the video, hit the like button or subscribe if you haven't. And uh, share. And uh, yeah, man. That's about it, really. Just an 18 minute rant. Goddamn. <laughs> All right. Peace out, bros.